What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Before I begin, let's kind of review some things that have just not gone to plan. First, we had a flood. The worst flood that I think our property has ever seen because trees fell in the creek, blocked the creek, and the water came rushing onto our property. You can see there's a pile of leaves right there. They were all over the place, mud everywhere. But we stayed resilient and we figured it out. I had to take everything apart on the inside, clean it all out, put it all back together. Our old walls are over there on that pile covered in mud and our new walls are up onto the structure. So today my lovely wife and I are going to begin painting this sucker, right? Paint, trim, and then we can start adding doors, maybe. I hope. Let's hope. Well, we got to get done. This has to get done. It's about to get real cold. They need a coop. Like the other day, it was in the 20s. Today it's 60. Yeah. Global warming isn't a thing. It's not a thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. But it's warm out. We're going to power through and get this sucker done. Let's do it. Before I begin, let me talk about how we're going to paint this sucker. This right here is the Home Right Finish Max. It's super cheap, like maybe 60, 70 bucks. And it is amazing. And you're going to get to see just how it's done today. Oh, you're going to do it. Well, I was going to follow along. What's the matter? Why does it work? Did you turn the lights off in the barn? Oh, yeah. Always something with you. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry rigged our electric and it all comes from the barn, but you have to have the light switch on in the barn. Otherwise, no good. That's kind of like our off switch for the power. Come on, Courtney. Come on. But as I was saying, this thing is amazing. We're going to show you how it works today. It's super easy to use. It's got super easy cleanup. Even my wife can do it. Actually, my wife can do a lot. I just don't give her enough credit. She can do a lot, a lot. So what you want to do, hold it straight up and down. Try not to tilt it one way or another. I mean, you can. Don't go like this. Go like this. Okay. And you're gonna overlap. So if I draw, if I go like overlap that line. What do you Podcast. Doing? Podcast. True crime. True, true, true crime. True Why crime. can't I talk? True crime. <laughs> Overlap. So you got overlap, otherwise yeah. you get that spot. Okay. ounces of water in and then I fill the rest of this up with paint and that was roughly where it got me to the viscosity that I needed. What you do you stick this in there wait for it to empty time it, it needs to be like between 25 and 40 seconds to empty out this cone. So I just used the stopwatch on my phone. If it takes too long, then I just add some water. If it goes too quick, I just add some paint. Yep, I can already tell that this is good. We're running through pretty quick. Man, I put that on there like I do that. Ugh. Like you tighten Pickle the orange jar. juice. Yeah, orange juice. <laughs> That's how you tighten the orange juice. When do we have orange juice? Well, 
When I was pregnant, I drank a lot of orange juice and you would tighten the lid. I was already emotionally unstable. So we'll have a little extra then. It's good. Screw that back on and uh, we're back to work. <laughs> So I've got uh, multiple coats of paint on every side. Some needed like three coats, some only needed two. It really just depended on how much the wood soaked it up or if we got a little bit lazy and got blotchy with the paint. But for the most part, we did pretty good. And then now I just started trimming up the side of the chicken coop. Now I trimmed this side without showing you because I wasn't sure that my measurements were right. And I got to this side, you can start to see where my drawers are for the clean out and the storage. Heck yeah, man. Still have a ton of work to do. Not even close to where being done yet. So looks like this project's gonna hold off for another day. We're gonna clean up tonight, come back out tomorrow, and that ought to call it a day. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Ready, bang. Yeah, I'm here. And it's two days later, not the next day. Yesterday was like, oh gosh, super cold. Actually, today's super cold too. This morning, it was 20 degrees. We had to go out, break up all the water, add some hot water, it was crazy. We were literally carrying out buckets of hot water for those animals. I don't even do that for my kids. Nope, I don't do it. Not gonna happen. So why are we in the shop? Well, you see, I still need a lot of trim. Like a lot of trim. I figure I have about, woo, 35 to, no, 36 more pieces to cut. And that's just on the pieces that I knew I had to cut. There's actually some pieces that I have to cut that I wasn't planning on cutting. So maybe like 40 pieces? Don't worry, I'm not gonna have you watch me cut 40 pieces of trim, but we gotta at least do something in this shop because it's been a while since I've been in the shop. While I'm in here, some of you follow me on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at lifecraftedbykenny. Check me out. Uh, if not, I don't really care, it's fine. Do you, but on that, I post a lot of the things that I build. In addition to that, I also have a second YouTube channel, which I have severely neglected, severely. I'm not trying to get you to follow it, but I did want to let you know that I am starting to get things out and I've got a pretty special build that all of you are gonna get a sneak peek on. Check this out. That, my friends, has been what I needed to distract myself from. I came out here this morning, it was freezing, like super frigid, and uh, I wasn't very motivated to do any work. I think you've all been there, and I needed to do work, so there was no taking a time out. So I figured, all right, well, why don't I work on something that I am really excited about? So I did, and uh, yeah. I tried to film it as well. By try, I mean my camera card filled up a couple times because I keep forgetting to empty the cards for this channel. But there it is. Let's get it off the workbench. Uh, set it down here on the floor. I'd tell you about all the things I screwed up on there, but you know, that's not really what we're here for today, folks, right? Spoiler alert, I did measure wrong. Go figure. 
Who would have thought? I've actually been eating through a lot of my extra pine in the shop. Like, no joke, I am using it all up. Which is not a bad thing. Uh, part of it stinks because they were all planned projects for the future. Um, but not having to run out and buy materials is actually not a bad thing. I've actually been doing a pretty good job of salvaging even the nastiest wood for this trim. If you ever go to Home Depot, they have uh, some really cheap like one by eight boards that are meant for like shelving or something like that. I don't even know. They have it specially listed. It's actually thicker than three quarter inches, but it's rough sawn on all sides of the wood. Okay, you can see here where my cut is, but most of it looks like this. It's pretty nasty stuff. However, it's great for trim because it's just a chicken coop. In order to get it to the thickness I need, I've actually done it in two different ways. I can send it through my planer, which is one way, uh, or I just run it through the table saw. I run it down one side, flip it over, run it down the other side, it takes off exactly what I need, and it's kind of faster. I don't know if it's faster, I don't even know if it's less dust. I think I've said this before to all of you, but I haven't set my shop up in the most efficient manner. It's workable, but um, things are just kind of in flux right now. We've had so many projects outside that I just, I haven't put any time into this shop. I really need to get there, folks. I really gotta get there. So, because this saw is already hooked up to the dust collector, it was a whole lot less messy to just run it through the saw. I have dust collection that I can hook up to the planer, but because it's not already on there, I didn't really feel like doing it. It's kind of lazy, but kind of not, because I got to get work done, right? I don't really know how you gauge that. What I want to work on now is the trim for the doors in the back. Uh, the three bottom doors is what I'm going to work on first because I took those measurements. I actually wrote it on the back of a piece of trim. So now I can start working on those and then when I go to take them out and put them up, I can measure the other pieces, come back in and, and do all those. If you remember, when I was cutting out the doors, uh, I tried to use the router and the whole reason for the router was because I was trying to get the shape to sort of stay intact. That way I could trim around that shape and then that would be a part of the door. So this is an example of one of those panels. So now all I have to do is put the trim out around this and I'm pretty good. There is one little caveat to that. Some of the doors are going to be offset differently. So we'll have a piece of trim that's either flush with the edge or we'll have it hanging off the edge a little bit like that. And then this will act as a door stop. What I'll do first is make the actual frames since I know exactly what those are. And then I can go down there, hook the frame up, put it in the locking position, and then attach the back panel. Seems silly, but I didn't measure the opening or where I wanted the trim. Who's surprised? Frame number one done. The whole reason I used Craig screws is just because these doors are going to get a lot of use and I want them to be as strong as I can possibly make them. This is obviously not the piece that fits in here. However, I'm slightly worried now because I think I'm gonna be short on all of them. 
which means I'm gonna have to cut new pieces. Something tells me this doesn't actually fit like I thought. Yep, they're all going to be too short, which means I either need to recut pieces or Courtney's measurements were wrong and I have to fix all of these pieces. I'm gonna find out. Just went down to check and yes, way too long. So I'm gonna trim those up real fast and start over. Don't worry, y'all ain't gotta watch. Just know that's what I'm gonna do. Now that is much better. Perfect fit. Can't screw these in yet because I gotta measure the offsets. Some of them are going to line up perfectly over here. Uh, and others are going to have a big apron, so that way it can close on the edge of the inside of the coop. The others are gonna be set flush, but for now, we're good to move on. It was definitely Courtney's fault, by the way, not mine. Not my measurements, her measurements. All right, all three frames for the bottom of the back of the coop or all the storage area is those are done. We're not gonna finish this coop today, so I'm gonna have to do this again tomorrow. So thank you very much for hanging out with me and I'll catch y'all on the next one.